Okay. We're gonna carefully pull the tape off of the belly pan, the fuselage, while we're weighing, and see how our attempt to mask this off has gone. And, uh, you know, find out how it looks. So the lower fuselage, this belly pan area, was reinforced by the public with stainless steel. Uh, the idea was two, twofold. One was to help, obviously, protect the pilot in either a belly landing or from gunfire from underneath. They didn't know what role the P-47 would play, whether, I mean, it was built for high altitude, long range bomber escort, but aircraft are often pressed into other services. Yeah, all right, I just got into trouble with the camera, so let's see. Well, let's just take this off, let's see how this looks. I got the sun behind me, so you're getting a camera shadow. Sorry about that. That line looks pretty good. I tried to protect the panel line that I had put down. You can see the panel line here. It's pretty well protected from being covered by the paint. That was the idea, anyway. It looks like it sort of worked. And now, I just have to see if I can get this off effectively with one hand there we go oh, oh that dragged across the paint but I think the paint's already dry yeah, it's already dry enough to uh, keep me out of the woods so there you see the reinforced lower fuselage belly pan area Republic P-47 Stainless steel was used on this aircraft extensively, as was Duralumin, which was a stronger aluminum alloy uh, developed concurrently with the P-47 development, apparently. Anyway, there's the uh, reinforced belly pan. Now, it might be a little darker uh, than what I wanted, but this paint will dry and lighten up a little bit. But I think, I think we got it. I think that'll be all right. Okay, well good. Uh, there you go. We got it masked, we got it sprayed, and now it just has to dry without me touching it <laughs> inadvertently. The next step here will be to put down a light coat of uh, uh, clear uh, semi-gloss, and that'll be to fix the panel lines. These panel lines can be erased just with handling, and I don't want that. I've got a, a few more to lay on, but I can go with what's on there, fix it with the uh, semi-gloss clear, and then go back and add more lines, and then another overspray, and more lines, and more overspray. In other words, I, you know, there's the the um, spraying of semi-gloss won't prevent me from adding panel lines. It'll just protect what's on there as soon as I can get to, you know, doing that. But uh, yeah, we, we got that pretty well centered. Looks like shaped properly, I think, from the side. Looks good, right? All right, so that's that. Thanks for watching.